good evening and welcome to tonight's upload. My name's Emma. Make sure you subscribe for loads of hauls and every week I do kind of like a half hour episode of a week in my life. A bit like EastEnders but not quite as exciting or dramatic. Um, so I'm starting this on a Sunday which is unusual for me because usually Sunday is my day off but today I am going to do a show at the town hall with my friend Louise and some great kind of comedians and they've got a postca postcat. What's a postcat? A podcast called the Scummy Mummies. I'll leave a link below. So I thought it'd be quite nice for me for the memories to be able to look back on that. And because you know what, like the chances of my vlogging career lasting forever are very slim. So I need to make as much as I can having lots of fun and you know so yeah, we're going. Nanny Sam's going to be there. Granddad Rog, my sister, my friend Rachel's going. I've got um, my friend Jenks is going. So a couple of friends are coming. Um, I'm going to be selling mugs and bags afterwards and meeting people. So that'd be really nice. I'm struggling with the mugs at the moment because um, the taxman says I now have to charge a VAT on them. So I have to add two pound to each mug. So I am wondering if people will still buy it at that price. Um, as it stands, ironically, I make about two pound profit per mug. So I could say I won't add the two pound and I'll just pay it, but then I won't make any profit from it. So, but um, I have got like some stock spare, so that's going to stay. And if I do a meet up, I'll always bring a few along that people can, can buy. But we'll see how it goes. We'll, we'll see what I think. I might just see if people pay the money, but um, I'll keep you posted because they are great mugs. Um, it's just curse you that man making me pay my VAT which is like the law and shizzle so I'm going to get ready Louise has already sent me a message and she has got the most beautiful makeup on and she had the most beautiful makeup on at 10 o'clock this morning and it's not at the show's not till three so I feel like I need to up my game so I'm gonna put makeup on I'm gonna do my hair curly I've washed it this morning I'm just gonna like roughly dry it and not straighten it and then curl it and I got a choice, choice of two dresses and I don't know what to go for. So come along with me whilst I get ready. Also I got my nails done on Friday in hot pink. And my lovely um, nail technician was like, oh, it's a bit bright. And I was like, yes, yes. So I love it. It is really, it's not showing how bright it is, but I feel like this is my new colour. Lucy's here, she's got no collar on, collar on, cone on. Tell the people how you feel. Cool. Yeah, the cone is off. The cone of shame is off. She's got to go back to the vets on Wednesday. So um, we'll see what they say. Because she might have to have the little lump removed. But I'll be honest. It's not cancerous. And unless it's going to cause her pain, I might not put her through the operation. Because she's 11. And I don't... She really hated having the cone on. So I don't know whether to put it put her through it. But we'll see what the vet says. Right, I'm going to go get ready. Also, these are my home bargains. Little fake flowers in this vase. How good does it look? That's from Ikea, that's from, is it Maison du Monde? And a brand sent me that in the post. However, my postman threw it over the fence, but I think they survived. But it looks really nice, isn't it, in that vase? I thought about putting fake water in, but then I didn't know how to do that, so we'll just have it at that. But I'm loving this little spot here. I'm ready, I'll show you what I'm wearing, so you can have a little nose. I am wearing a Joni dress that was gifted to me. Thanks, Joni. Um, I love it. Uh, my Marks and Spencer's autograph tights, Marks and Spencer's shoes. I will say the dress is going to be a bit static. So I'm going to have to put a bit of um, hairspray on and lipstick. I know. Louise messaged me this morning. She, and I was like, what are you wearing? She's like, leopard skin. I was like, same. So we're going to definitely be twinning. And is twinning winning or is twinning tragic? I don't know. We'll, we'll soon find out. So there we go. Towels on show all the bloody time. But yeah. I'm going to wear, have my red Chanel bag, no, Gucci bag, my black leather jacket. Good morning, my loves. Autumn
automatically I can see I've got too much blusher on um, it's Monday so the show went really well yesterday I couldn't unfortunately put any clips in because it was very rude um, lots of rude words so I will insert some pictures whilst I was talking it was really good mom and dad really enjoyed it it was really lovely to meet loads of, of followers and subscribers and they managed to get some mugs which is great so that was really fun and it was a bit nerve-wracking but you know, because it's not the kind of thing I'm used to sitting on a stage with hundreds of people watching you. But yeah, it was fun. But as I say, far too rude for the internet. In fact, a couple of people were like, I've never heard you swear. Because even though I don't really swear in my videos, so they were a little bit shocked. Today, we are going to this morning. So um, I am working with this morning on something on Instagram for, for an ad for something. So today, they were like, How would, where would you like to take your photo for this, this ad? And I was like... I'd really like to come down to this morning with my mom and get her to have a look around. So that's what we're doing. So this morning, if you don't live in England, is like, perhaps like Good Morning America. Um, it's not like, is it good? there's one in New York where you can walk past and you can see them filming it. It's not like that. It's it's quite exclusive to go in and it takes a lot of security to get through. So we are very lucky. I have no idea. I mean, at the very most, my mum will get to look around and have a sit, uh, photo on the couch because they have like a famous couch. I'm hoping we see some midi famous. Could you imagine if Gary Barlow was on? Um, I feel physically sick. Um, so we're going to go down and see what it is, see what it's like. I'll take you with me. Uh, we're going on the train, fast train, because they're paying, so not the slow train. Um, so I'm very excited. And also the garden starts today. So I missed the start of that and that's going to be going on all week. But I'll probably do a full video on on that. Don't be expecting like a big posh garden. We're just getting kind of like the bare minimum done um, because we are not green fingered at all. And I think we'd probably quite like to get trampoline in and maybe some like nice potted plants. Right, I better go and get a taxi. We made it! Hello! Linda, Nanny San is here. She wanted me to tell you that she hasn't got a new fancy coat on. No, because it's Because it was hot. a bit hot because she did buy a special coat but it was a bit hot, wasn't it? It was. Too hot. So we're in London. We're just going to go and meet lovely Nikki, who works this morning, to go and have a little drink on the hot chocolate first. And then we're going to go and see some schlebs, hopefully. I don't think we'll see any schlebs. Hope we see somebody. We'll see somebody. Who would you most like to see? Oh, obviously Ryla. Oh, obviously Ryla. Do you remember when he did a message for you last yeah. time? <laughs> I'll leave the vlog below where I went last time and it snows. And he's like, hello, Nanny San, <laughs> wasn't he? <laughs> So right, we're gonna go down and find Nikki and then I'll film some stuff in there. It might not be me, me be talking because sometimes it's a bit weird, but we can do a debrief afterwards, can't we? Yes. So you'll definitely see some sort of little montage, but um, we're gonna walk so see you I'm with mum, we're on the set. Say something like you're a TV presenter. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> she sacked. <laughs> so guys, we've got a hot new chef in town. She's called Nanny San. And what are you cooking? This evening, what are we going to be having? Waffles and fish fingers. Fish fingers and waffles. <laughs> we're on the train. Did you have a nice time? I've had, um, I've had, oh, where have you gone? <laughs> I've had a wonderful time. I'm still I'm here. It's sad it's finished. Aww. Yes, it was a lovely day. Yeah, it was Thank nice. Thank you for taking it. Was it was quite nice. Holly and Phil were nice, weren't they? They were very nice. Spoke twice to us, didn't they? We didn't Denise, get a picture. Denise Wells. So Denise, she looked lovely. <laughs> and I think it was Andrea McLean we saw oh. as well. Oh, we've got to go because loads of people are coming on the train. Okay. Right, see you later. Say bye to the people. Say bye to your people. Bye. <laughs> home that was such a lovely day nanny sam had such a lovely time so whilst we were there we did get to chat really briefly to holly and phil um, unfortunately we didn't get to have a photo this time 
but I get it, it's very busy, but we did have a chat and we got to watch them and yeah, it was lovely. Mum had a really good time, I'm very tired, uh, but it was really good and I've come back because the garden's starting today, isn't it guys? So I will show you what's going on so far. They've done so much in one day. The shed has gone. Here's all the paving slabs. It's crazy. I'm terrified. And I'm also wondering how the dog's gonna go for a wee. We didn't think all this through. So when I've finished it complete, we'll do, I'll do like a whole video on it, but wowza. Ooh, eek. Morning guys. It's Friday. It's such nice weather at the moment in England. It's lovely. It was, I think, 14 yesterday, which I bet some of you, like, if you live in other countries, like, that's bloody freezing. But in England, we're like, oh, so nice. It's 20 past eight in the morning. It's so sunny. So I thought I would do a little update of the garden. They've been all here all week and they've worked really hard. And um, I'm going to do a full video on it. So it, oh, I've got a bit of sun flare. Oh, oh. Um, I just thought I'd show you kind of like what we've go, got so far. I'm going to, as I said, I'm going to do a full video and it's completely finished, but let's just do a quick little thing. So, if you remember from was it last week, the the bit weird metal thing which I thought had dead bodies in has gone. They've put all new grass here. And I just love the fact that when these trees are in like, like and they've got the apples and the cherries and the kids can sit on the grass, they've built a little wall around here. And this is where the new shed's gonna go and that's gonna come tomorrow. And down here, they've... I didn't ask Lucy for... Lucy, come for a wee wee. Go wee wee. I'm sure come out for some reason. Um, down here, they've started the pavement. Uh, so basically, when we moved into the house, there was loads of these little slabs. So we wanted these to be kind of put back in. So they've like reused all of them got new slabs we've got like gravel here and then down here so I can come to my office and not have to walk across loads of mud they've got paving slabs here but they're going to put two more here because when you open the door you still end up walking on mud <laughs> so they're going to put two more here maybe I should have had it all there like a little patio but um yeah they've done a really good job it's been a lovely week to do it I, think, I bet for them it's the first week that they've had like a really sunny week to work so, I bet if you're a gardener, that's the bloody dream, isn't it? Having a bit of sun. So it's been really, it's been really good. They've worked really hard. They haven't, you know, it's not like they've been interrupting me work or anything. It's been really good. So, as I say, there'll be a full video soon. Um, I just love it. I'm so excited. And we're going to get trampoline. Stephen did a bit of a... Lucy does not want to go for a wee. Hang on, my child, I'll be in two seconds. <laughs> Are those, do those tights fit you? Yeah. You sure you don't, they don't keep falling down? Mm. Go and put them in the bin and get... You know? You know, I can see they're falling down. Go and put them in the bin and put some other ones on. <laughs> it's new. Erin has this trouble, but probably if loads of you have little girls as well. The tights, they just fall down. So, um, sometimes I've been taking them to school and the tights have been around her knees. I'm going to go and make up some... What was I saying? can't remember oh yeah trampoline so Stephen was like we're not having a trampoline because the grass will go yellow underneath and I just said to the kids I veto that we are gonna have a trampoline because I like the idea of sitting here on the garden furniture and the kids having a play day and having the trampoline out so excited right I better get these kiddos to sport and then today you will have seen it by now I am con Marie in my kitchen um, because obviously we have to get all the stuff out of the kitchen because we're having the kitchen come next week. So it's just non-stop. And I'm, I'm already looking at the amount of weird crap I have in our kitchen. So I'm gonna con Marie the kitchen and um, I will link that above and below so you can watch. So this is fun. I just filmed my con Marie decluttering with me, which you will have seen and I'll link it. But this is kind of a continuation. So in that video, you see me, um, I've got this big kind of drinks cabinet because when Steve and I were young and in love and we got married, we're like, that's what grown-ups have. They have huge drink cabinets. I don't know why. We're not even massive drinkers. So I've gone through 
um, what we're going to keep, what we're going to give to the fam. And then here, now this piece of furniture does look a bit odd in this kind of situation. However, this is from my nanny Joyce's house. So my nanny Joyce, um, she's got dementia and she had to go to a dementia home. Um, and she's, you know, she's there and she's happy and she's lovely. But, um, this was one piece of furniture and a vase which you would have seen on my Instagram. So I'm gonna make this a little drinks cabinet. We've mainly got loads of gin, um, a couple of bottles of Proseccos. We don't, and we just don't drink it. So I'm gonna get it done. Um, with the garden being done, I'm hoping we, we kind of socialize a bit and get people to come around. That's the plan. Like the past set, six, seven weeks, a bit I found, you know, I've talked about I've had to go to therapy and so I find it quite hard going just general day to day. But with the garden and the sun out and kind of me really appreciating the bits and bobs I've got, um, I feel a lot happier. Um, so I'm trying to focus on those things. So whilst it is a little silly drinks cabinet to the world and you're like, Emma, you sound like you're from the 1950s. Um, to me, it just symbolises kind of like really looking after the things we enjoy. So I'm just going to sort this out and I will come back to you later. Yay! We fitted loads and I fitted all the nice fancy glasses in. So this is just like a nice little... This is all the other stuff that's going to have to be put away. Oh, that's got rid of loads of this stuff as well. I'm really chuffed with that. I'm really pleased. It means... That doesn't have to go in the kitchen in the kitchen. There's more storage, storage. Um, I want you to leave in the comments now if you've made it to this part of the video. Um, like product wise, I want to be a bit environmentally friendly in the new kitchen. So I'm going to try and cut down on the kitchen roll um, by using like what they're called, the cloths, you know, the, you know what I'm talking about because you all watch loads of speed cleaning and stuff. Um, we've got a dishwasher, never had a dishwasher before. What dishwasher tablets do we have to have that are kind of a bit nice for the environment? Hit me up, guys, because this is a fresh start, so I want to kind of get off on the right foot. Right, I'm off. Next week's vlog is going to be a teeny bit of home before the um, just bonkersness of the kitchen come in, and then I'm going to Hogwarts on Tuesday. Oh, I just got really excited. <laughs> I'm going to Hogwarts on Tuesday, so I'm going to kind of, it will probably just be like two days probably. Um, I'm going to Hogwarts with my sister on Tuesday um, to see Gringotts, and those of you said you want me to take you along, so I'm going to take you along to that. I'm really looking forward to it. Make sure, in fact, I will have been by the time you watch this, so make sure you go and check my Insta stories because it could still, we probably still be up of the adventures that I had because it will be kind of within that 24 hour period, so go and check those out. I can't wait. Me and Claire love, one of the reasons I love doing this with my family is because um, Claire and I love, um, we love a schleb. We love a schleb. Ain't no shame in my game, I love a schleb. So when we go to Harry Potter, sometimes they have said, once we saw Rod Stewart was the dream. <laughs> Um, so I'm hoping we saw, so we've seen David Tennant one time, we saw Rod Stewart, so I'm hoping for somebody like that, I'd love to see Warwick Davis, that would be really fun, because um, he seems great, so we'll bring you along, and then, next week guys, I may or may not be going to something very special that's opening in Birmingham, might involve Primark and it, it possibly could involve Disney. Might involve my hometown and I might take you along, but you know, keep it, keep it to yourself. Right, see you for another upload soon guys. Love ya.